already, I already know what it is. That's like they want, like they want that divide and conquer going, and that's exactly what all of that is. That's divide and conquer, you know, just to even sit there and think about that stuff while you got a larger, a larger problem at hand. You know what I'm saying? That's just waste of, a waste of time. You know? Yeah, because racism like, has been here and it will always be here until we get rid of the people who created the shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, until we, until we stop that racist agenda from being pushed. It's because, come on, man, I ain't got no hate for nobody, but it's so weird when I walk down the street. Like I said, I cut my hair, and I had a mohawk a couple of weeks ago, and one who, white friend of mine said, man, you look like a big-ass Indian. <laughs> it was funny, right? I'm walking down the street, and there's a woman, a white woman, in a fucking wheelchair. I'm like, how you doing, ma'am? Fuck you, illegal. Not fuck you Mexican, not fuck you nigger, fuck you illegal. And then I looked at my clothes. A pair of jeans on, a pair of work boots, and a white t-shirt. Fuck. And it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could, I, I could think of something worse than that, man. So you should just be happy with that. Yeah, I'm fucking illegal. I, she could have went me off on me, but... um. You can blow that, you can blow that off because it's not really you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You could have said something else, so... It was it was just weird, man. <laughs> Cause uh, people have told me sometimes I dress in certain ways. Man, you look Mexican. Like, what do you mean? You look Mexican. You look like a Hispanic. And this is from Mexican people. You look Hispanic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm cool. But it, it's weird that you walk down the streets of America and we still get people saying shit like that. I'm saying hi to a handicapped motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, ma'am, can I get, can I grab your purse and run? You know, get, hi, how you doing, man? Hi, hello. <laughs> you can't say hi to people no more. You know, there's another thing, um, sexual harassment. You can't even tell a woman she look good now. Hey, you look nice today. Next thing you know, you going to jail. Sexual harassment. Um. Somebody was uh, telling me that homosexuality, uh, lesbianism, um, uh, feminism, all that is a form of uh, human population control. You know, you think about what do you think about that? Oh yeah, man, there ain't no doubt. <laughs> because like, remember what you said about Bill Gates and the and the euthanasia program over in Africa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. It's. I can believe some of the shit I hear on YouTube. A lot of people denounce YouTube and they say this and that. Oh, no, you you listen to these people. You get your news from YouTube, you fucked up. You know, I truly think YouTube, without YouTube, a lot of people would be seriously misinformed about a whole bunch of shit. Um, it's pitiful that we have to talk on the same medium that is oppressing people that uh, lies about how many people have seen the video, uh, lies about how much money you make, you know, it, it's still a media-driven platform. Mm -hmm. So how can it be fixed? Because eventually what freedom we have in right now will be taken from us, okay. you know. Um, did you hear about the new law that uh, they say Obama passed? Um, you can't hurt nobody's feelings now. I haven't heard that. Yeah, um, there's some kind of law where um, you can you can do so much shit to a person, but if you hurt somebody's feelings now, it's against the law. It's some kind of some shit I heard. I'm gonna look it up again because that makes no sense to me. Motherfuckers hurt my feelings every day. Should I just go call the police on them now? You know what I'm saying? Take a phone with you, dial nine. Hey, somebody just called me a nigger. I'm, my feelings are really hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can, can I get some law over here quick? Um, the name calling. I'm tired of people calling me names on YouTube, but it don't affect me. Um, the fact that Americans lost a lot of jobs. The fact that we have been funneled into a new world order. The fact that we can't get along with each other, let alone the next race, stay next door, it's all forms of a control that is out of control. Um, 
as a black person or a person in general, my heart is heavy. I, I feel sorry for us as a people, as a nation, because don't nobody on the world feel sorry for us. You know, as far as they're concerned, there's just a bunch of football players and baseball players in America. We're all athletes. We all rap. We all sing. We all grab our nuts and call our women bitches. And I'm just tired of being viewed by the world as something other than a human being. Um, it's pitiful that we have to have this existence in this day and age where technology can free everybody, but those who can afford technology can afford to enslave everybody. I said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's hard to pick these words out, man, especially knowing I ain't got no high school education. I'm supposed to be some dumb nigger. Um, I ain't got no crack, so I can't smoke it and or sell it. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of hard for me to live up to the stereotype when I can speak. You know? It's kind of hard for me to live up to the stereotype when I live in a house and I own my own car. You know, it's like, it's pitiful. I, I can't be black in this society living the way I do. You know what I mean? I got to be a nigger in order to be recognized in the society. A black man has no place in the society. And that's where I'm at now. I'm tired of being a black man in this society where a black man got no respect, gets no respect. Um, if somebody else black does something, automatically I'm a suspect. It's pitiful. You know? I hope the next black man do a crime is like eight feet tall and shit. So I wait on and pull me over. You know? Um, black in America is a joke. People coming to America for a better life, it's a joke. Um, slavery is a joke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, the control is, it's just like you said, it's like uh, a whole bunch of people telling you what to do, and you turn around and you don't see them. But you know you got to do what he told you to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you know, who is that shoulder? Who is that angel on this shoulder? And who's the devil on the other side? You know what I mean? And if you notice in any old cartoon, old TV show, the angel and the devil always look the same. They just wore different clothes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. I enjoy talking to you today, man. You're one of the only people that got the home phone number, man. I love all these other people out there. And, you know, eventually they will get the home phone number. But I'm going to have me another phone on next week. We'll make it a point to get a phone next week. Um, if you want to talk to me on the computer, you have to dial up the real AIX on Media Ring Talk. And you, my computer will ring. And that number is open to anybody who has Media Ring Talk on their computer. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. Since I got my retirement, I'm not leaving the house for the next two years. <laughs> Shit. They got me on probation for two years. I'm not going nowhere. Get them an excuse to fuck with me. Shit. <laughs> uh-uh. Ever. Shoot. What's up, man? That's it. You can't give them no excuse because they will take it and run with it. Shoot. So what's going on, man? What you finna have for lunch, man? It was at 3 o'clock there. You passed lunch. <laughs> yeah, I ate lunch right before I called you. Shoot, man. Other than that, man, I just put numbers on these videos. We got eight videos so far. I think this is number nine, and this is about to end in about 45 seconds. God damn. Nine videos. Ten minutes long, damn near each one of them. Going strong. <laughs> you know, um... I hope, well, I hope because it's like when you when people have regular conversations more truth comes out of a regular conversation than if me and you set this up to try to talk we're not trying to talk we're just having a regular conversation it's just having to be recorded and this is how two people feel today tomorrow if he calls me we might talk about something completely different but today this is how it is today in America you know like in September 30th 2000 and wine, because everybody crying this year. <laughs> everybody whining. 2000 and wine. <laughs>